Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th. Okay, so around the 5th. Now, if you've booked a private reading with me um, through my website, you know, my app, you have to email me after you uh, book that reading. It says it in the very first sentence app of the booking. It says to email me immediately in bold lettering. So if you have booked a reading, send me an email and we'll go from there after the reading is booked. Once I get the confirmation that you've booked and we will converse before the reading. So anyway, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is passion. It's a new start. It's a fresh start. This is exciting. So this is a new beginning of some sort. Whatever this new beginning is, it is an exciting new beginning. It's a time. It's a very fertile time. This is a new flame, a new spark, a new drive, a new desire, a sudden desire. So this is very um, something to do with a match. This is a match of some sort, lighting a fire. Somebody's lighting a fire or something like that. Um, this is a very um, intense energy. Um, a spark of some sort. Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Ooh, Two of Cups reversed. Oh, we'll take that one. The World reversed. Eight of Cups. Five of Wands reversed. So somebody it has a desire, a very strong desire for wish fulfillment, for happiness, for abundance. Okay, that's their biggest desire at the moment. Um, there's some sort of wanting to hold on to something with that Four of Pentacles. That's about stability. And needing to walk away from something, though, because of the Eight of Cups. Walking away from a battle, walking away from a fight um, with the Five of Wands reversed. We have somebody there here that does have a strong desire for happiness and stability. But they have to walk away from something that is causing them a lot of tension. Okay? This is the tension. And this is like... Uh, this is like a war zone and you have to walk away. So somebody is, it's almost like they're fighting a battle about walking away. There is a, they have this strong desire or need or something like that um, for happiness and stability. They, but they're holding on to something because of financial stability and that's why they haven't walked away so we have somebody here that is very conflicted okay they may be extremely conflicted they you know there's probably some competition here there's some sort of yeah I feel like there's a competition here there's a so there's, there's a there's an attraction because this is an attraction somebody has a strong desire they're attracted to something okay and they want it it's it's hot there's there's a strong desire to have this. Um, and there's an opportunity for stability but, oh, and happiness and wish fulfillment, but it will require walking away with this Eight of Cups from something that, you know, maybe somebody's been playing games or playing with somebody else or they've been in some sort of competition or they've just been fighting with somebody. You know, the Five of Wands is fighting. They need to walk away, but they, for some reason, they can't. And I don't think they can because of some sort of financial gain that they are receiving by this situation that they are having a hard time walking away from. So somebody is having a hard time walking away from something. 
I do believe that there's fear of confrontation. There could even be, you know, fear of rejection. I do think that we have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up. They are really, really sick of fighting. And this is a vision. They may have this new vision or this, they have another match. You know, they have somebody that they are very passionate about. But there's financial problems here with the King of Pentacles reverse mirroring this Four of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is in a partnership that brings them some sort of financial stability in their greed, in their ego is in the way. This is not learning a lesson. It is resisting change. It's being stuck in the present. I mean, the world card reversed is somebody that, and we do have frustrations here with these two cards. We have somebody here that is very frustrated with their current circumstances. And there's there's like unfinished business or somebody needs to accept and cut their losses. Uh, they are not having uh, the success in a partnership that they had probably hoped for. They, they hoped that it was going to work out. They got themselves engaged with it. Now they're, they're, maybe they've done made some financial... Uh, Packed, you know, contract or something with an individual, and now they can't break free from it. They can't break free, but they do have a passionate opportunity. It's a very sexual energy. You know, they have this opportunity to have a lot of passion and wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, but with this world card, there's there's uh, refusing to explore a new avenue, refusing to uh, close that last chapter or not learning. We have somebody here that is really um, is stagnant. This person is stagnant. Somebody's in a stagnant partnership where there's really no success and there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. There's an opportunity for happiness and success. And this, I feel like there's a new match I feel like there's a new match here. Um, but this is saying goodbye to conflict. And that takes strength. So I'm, maybe we need the strength card here. I think that we have somebody here that is probably thinking about it right now. They're definitely thinking about it. They probably want a fresh start. They probably, you know... They have, it feels like they have something, you know, a burning desire. Somebody has a burning desire, you know, to have it all. They do. But it's almost like right now they're, they're in a situation that is stable. You know, it's stable. And I feel like there's like, it's that fear of confrontation. You know, I don't want to deal with the battle. I don't want to do, there's laziness. There is. We have somebody here that just doesn't want to deal with the confrontation. They don't, they don't want to. Uh, break up. It's like, but they do want to break up. They do, but they don't. You know, they, the only reason they don't want to break up is because it's stable. It's something to hold on to. It's something to have. So I, I do believe that we have somebody that is staying in a partnership for financial reasons, you know, or because of, I don't know, social pressure, you know, what's everybody going to say? But there is a new match here. There's a, there is definitely, this could be a new sexual partner, you know, with the Ace of Wands that could bring a lot of happiness, <laughs> you know, it could, it could, you know, make somebody extremely happy. Um, but, you know, I feel like somebody needs to say goodbye with that Eight of Cups. That's this emotional disappointment. There's, somebody is fighting what they want and it's because of financial Stability, you know, or it's just, and it doesn't have to be financial stability. It could just be stability, period. This is stable, you know, it's stable, even though it doesn't look like it's love. Okay, it doesn't look like it's compatible. It looks like we have a, a partnership that is not going to end successfully. This is totally flogging a dead horse. We got somebody here that is not being practical. Okay, this person isn't being practical. They're, they're not. They're holding on because it's something to hold on to. And that's, that's the only reason. Okay, but there is an opportunity for happiness here with that Nine of Cups. Star card reverse. Now this feels like it's a hopeless situation. You know, it's somebody may have maybe losing hope. They may feel like, um, you know, they won't get what they need, or their prayers aren't never going to be answered. But there's, there's their prayers aren't answered because they're not 
being practical, right? Um, there's a lack of faith. There's there's a feeling of definitely being frustrated, depleted. Um, there's a lack of wish fulfillment in the current partnership that they're in. Somebody is in a partnership where there is no victory, there is no success, there is uh, stagnation, and there's no, um, well, there's, there's no hope, honestly. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. It, I, mean, I, I mean, I hate to give the message, but to start upright is hope. What's the opposite? No hope. This is no faith. This is where fear has taken over. And it's because of arrogance. Somebody's arrogance is in the way of their own happiness. This is like, why is this happening? Why, why is this happening now? I feel like somebody has a very passionate opportunity or a strong desire, you know... To, to walk away from somebody that they've been uh, playing games with, you know, they have this desire to walk away. And I feel what's happened is they have this sudden, because this is very sudden, they may be a sudden match, you know, they may have suddenly connected with somebody. And it, there's a strong, passionate desire to go in this direction. Everything happens for a reason. Why is this happening? Why is this happening now? It's happening now because somebody is refusing to complete a cycle where there's no love. And the universe will bring you something bright, something exciting, something new to, to force you pretty much or to get you to take action. This is a universe card. So anyway, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment right here. It's right here. Just all you have to do is be realistic, be practical, face your fears, have faith. This is a lack of faith. Have faith that everything happens for a reason, you know? So I do believe that there is a, there is a strong desire to go in a new direction, but it will require somebody to have faith and let go of whatever it is that they're hanging on to that has been a constant battle. Okay, it's been a battle. That's what the Five of Wands is. It's a battle of some sort, you know? Um, I feel like there's an opportunity to end a conflict. Okay, this is a conflict. This is walking away from a conflict. But it will, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take courage to do that. So anyway, I do feel like there's there's been some sort of um, strong strong uh, competition, and I feel like it's it, you know maybe somebody was competing, you know they were in some sort of competition trying to prove something, you know, and and sometimes it's hard it's hard to um, lose, you know, and that's that's ego. It's ego when you can't just walk away from something. I do see arrogance here. I think we have somebody here that is very, very arrogant, um, greedy, selfish, stubborn, you know. Um, and I feel like they're in a partnership where, you know, there's just no success, okay? There's no success. And it's over. It's already over. It is. I mean, the world card isn't ending. It's here. It's over. It's already over. But we have somebody here that is stagnant. Okay? I mean, it's because they don't have faith that this is a dream come true when it is a dream come true. They don't believe it. There's lack of belief here with the star card reversed. Somebody may be asking themselves, why? Why? Why is this happening? It's happening because, you know, you have to... You have to face your fears. You have to have faith. You have to trust. Anyhow, we have a golden opportunity for long-term stability, abundance, success. Financial security. This is a gift. Take it. So this is like this is the this is the manifestation card. One of them, somebody has manifested something very, very abundant. Yes, this is what you asked for. 
go for it. Ace of Wands is go for it. Just go for it. There's a new sexual partner here that, you know, or if it's, it's a new sexual attraction, whatever it is. It's, it, there's a strong desire, okay, uh, to have wish fulfillment, right? To have it all. But. In order to have it all, you have to walk away from whatever it is that is causing you so much tension in your life, even if it is stable. This leads down the path. This is something you can take to the bank. Okay, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. That's what this is. This is an opportunity for stability, security, and long-term abundance, prosperity. Why hold on to something that is lacking and incompatible or incompatible or, you know, where there's fighting when you can have it all because it's stable it's not even that stable it's not four of pentacles yeah it's something to hold on to who wants to hold on to something where there's tension and fighting and games and bickering and pettiness the hell with that shit there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here there's an opportunity for recognition. Satisfaction, deep satisfaction. So there's an opportunity for some real big satisfaction here. That's why this is happening, because everybody deserves to live a happy life. But whoever this person is, is resisting change, doesn't listen, doesn't listen. Very, very uh, stubborn, stubborn energy. Somebody here that needs to close a chapter in their lives to have wish fulfillment. But they're refusing to. They're refusing to let go. This is, you know, sometimes when you get the four of pentacles and we have that king of pentacles reversed, we may have a miser here, somebody that is extremely greedy. As long as it brings me financial stability or if it's bringing me money, i got to hold on to it. Well, that sucks. Especially when there's an opportunity for a lot of growth. There's an opportunity for passion. Walking away. We have the Eight of Cups here. And we have the Nine of Cups here. Walking away from this battle, whatever the hell it is, this war zone, leads to wish fulfillment. This is a fresh start. It's a new life. It's a new direction. Consider it a, a gift. God has given somebody a gift. You're going to throw it away? Good luck.